Welcome everybody to House and Garden Flipper episode 319. I know I still have not moved my office over to the very scary spooky house. I'm not going to move my office over to the very scary spooky house because the music is still freaking me out. So, I know, right? Uh, yeah, never mind. I can cope with being a chicken if it just means getting this house flipped done. We're going to put the Johnsons in here because I've decided Grandpa was a scary man and it was his fault that the house was haunted. Um, and so that's that's what the story is behind Samata Myers' house. I'm not sure who Samata Myers was. It's possible it's possible that um, that she was the owner before Grandpa and that is why Grandpa is uh, no longer anywhere around. All right, I know. That's gruesome, isn't it? Grandpa thought he had a bargain, and the bargain had him. There we are. Like I said, the music is is fairly fairly freaking me out. So we were we were working on the teenage on the teenage the preteen daughter's room, and this is what we came up with. It's still showing as an office, uh, much to my annoyance. I forgot to look up what I needed to do to make it into a kids' room. Unless the bunks are not showing up as beds. No, they were. It was a bedroom. Let's just um, let's just bear with me while I experiment. And yes, the music is really, really reminding me of, of Desert Skies. Um, I know, it's amazing. Okay, let's just go with uh, the pet's bed. I'm, I'm not going to get too fancy with the colours. I'm just going to put it in here because I want to see what happens. Okay, let me just go out of the room and then go back into the room. No, it's still an office. Well, that's annoying, isn't it? Let's just sound that. Okay, well, I don't know what to do. There, there is something I'm missing. I just can't remember what it is. But I think I think she'll like this room anyway. Um, I'll work out what sort of doors I want to put on there eventually. I'm thinking we're going to go with some nice light-coloured timber flooring in this in this space. We might get the hallway done and out of the way. And then we're going to head into the parents' bedroom and finish that off. Little panels. We're going to do some nice pine in here. I know. Heaven knows this house has had enough darkness. Uh, okay, maybe we won't do it quite that way. I forgot. If you if you're not careful, your um your flooring will will go through the walls and affect the other rooms. If you give it half a chance, we're just going to make sure it's not too badly affected. All right. You know what? Kids love always like this. You put rugs in and they can slide down them. Because they're little rodents. Alright, there we go. That's all good. Uh, we have done the floor. Uh, we are going to make... We're going to make this lemon, you reckon? Faded lemon up here? Yeah, let's do faded lemon. We're going to have a reading nook in that corner over there. It's going to be gorgeous. Maybe. Paint and faded lemon. There we go. Buy that. Pop that in here. Put this here. Fill that paintbrush up. You know what? To, to me, that's not yellow enough. I want something yellow. Really yellow. You know what? I don't know. Let's see if we can find a really yellow. There's sunny orange and there's morning yellow. Morning yellow is a bit green, isn't it? No, maybe it's a nicer yellow than what I've chosen. Let's find out. It's it's you know it's on the it's on the spectrum there. It's 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 definitely in the in the right zone. I think this looks a little bit too brown for me, but we're gonna give it a shot anyway. It, it is grab your eyeballs yellow, um, which is what I wanted. I'm not sure if I want that though. That's that's a little bit too bright. So far we have the winner winner down there. We have bright peach. Actually, that's a nice colour. Sunny yellow is more orange. Let's try sand almond. No, let's not try sand almond. I know. Don't mind me. Oh no, the macabre side of my brain is going, make it a nice light colour, the blood will still show up so much better. It's like, shut up brain, that's not helpful. Not helpful, are you listening? Right. 
Okay, now you know what? I think I think we're definitely going to just stick with the the sunny yellow, and we'll uh, we'll we'll live with whatever color choices that makes us make. Oh no, this is all about. I know I'm not on the challenge anymore, but I I kind of liked some of the the ways the challenge made me think um, outside my usual. So I'm gonna, in some respects, even though I'm aiming this this house for a particular client. Well, vaguely, because I'm ignoring a few things that client likes. Um, I'm, I'm still going to experiment and play a little bit with it, I think. Like I used to do when I first started playing. And, you know, I haven't been out in the garden. It is possible the garden is freaking me out just a tad. Or a lot. Because I have to go make a graveyard. A little memorial graveyard for Grandpa. I know, we have a story to go with this house. I like that. Everything should have a story to go with it. Um, I, I prefer nice stories, but this one's fairly good. We're, um, we're living Grandpa's dream. Grandpa wanted the house for everybody, and this is it. I know, this is me being too lazy to move the paint can, and thus costing myself more effort than than I really need. Let's just pick this up and move it down to the end. There you go. I know some of you are breathing a sigh of relief and going, well, about time. You're absolutely right. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to play with colour like I did with the last house. I'm going to play with, um, I know it's a bit of a race at the moment too to get the recordings of the last few houses for this done so I can start an entirely new series for the um, Luxury Flipper and Pets. I really want to see how those two go. What I might do is start a new series for them anyway. Um, but I may, I may show how they look in an established game as well. We'll see, we'll see. I'm still trying to kind of work out what my best, what I can do best with the time I've got uh, for recording. I don't want to try and do too much at once because that is my way of doing things. I will, I will try to do all the things. It doesn't work very well. Okay. I know. Uh-oh. All right, we're out of yellow paint. I'm just going to finish off these these with the paint from whatever is in the rooms. All right, we have now this bright little hallway. I wanted to put a reading nook in here. Um, I'm actually thinking we might put the chair. There's like a wall chair in, in furniture. It came out in the HGTV set uh, DLC. I mean, we could just do these. I mean, I, I kind of like the contrast there. Let's have a look in the lighter colored stuff. Um, beige. Oh, we could go pink. We could go grey. Yeah, I don't know if that works. I mean, it fits. Um, the other thing I was looking at, because those are poofs, we were looking at, um, I think they count as armchairs. Yeah, they do. So they're like wide seats. I keep thinking of them as window seats. Ah, uh, there's... Actually, let's have a look at the patterns and see what we get. There's speckles. That's actually a pattern I haven't seen. Uh, floral shoots. Oh, we could do this entire hallway in floral shoots. That would be nice. White stripes. Pink thingies. Uh, no. You know, I, I don't mind that. That's not bad. The rosal. We could do rosal up the hallway as well. And I like that. Can you imagine in one of the other houses we could put that in? Pink spots, diamond crosses, dandy. You know, that's the first time I've seen the dandelions in a format I like. And I do like that. That's We might dandelion this hallway something chronic. What do you think? Yeah, that's dandelion. It's either dandelions or... Um, ooh, oh, see, I'm really torn. No, that's dandelion. It. All right, we've got yellow walls. So the base... Okay, so okay, so you can contrast the oh, I like that too. Okay. Okay, I don't want to do black. 
cherry is nice. You can actually do sapel, and if the cherry is lighter, yeah, that doesn't work quite so well with the rosal though. Let's just go back to here, and we'll just keep going. We've got the grey wood, actually, hang on. It matches the dandelion patterning, if you're wondering what I'm doing. What, I, what are you thinking? That's what I'm thinking. All right, so I'm actually kind of partial to that. No, no, this, because it's it's without being too dark, it actually reflects the, um, the dandelion pattern. Although if I was going to be a true reflection, we would actually reverse it. We'd put that there and we'd put this here. Yeah, no, I actually like it this way around. Let's do that. Let's have a look at our handles. We'll make them yellow like the rest of the room. Now, see, it's too big for there, but I think it'll fit just nicely here. See, now you've got a little bit of storage and like a little reading nook. Oops, no, no, no. But stop it. Right. Now, speaking of reading nooks, I mean, they're not much good without things to read in them, right? Uh, I mean, we we could we could put um, one of those tall, narrow, skinny bookcases in that I would just normally go to without thinking. I mean, that's that's one of these from the base set, and they're ideal in many ways. And then you do the gold handles. I mean, you could put that right there. I'm, I'm just thinking the cedar's not quite the... Yeah, see, you could do it in cedar, or you could do it in... What was the other colour we looked at? This one. I don't know. I want to make a magical corner. I don't think that's going to do it. Let's have a look at one of these little low... I need a little low bookcase. So we've got hanging shelves. And the reason I'm looking at grey is because it matches the dandelions, but maybe not. Uh, hmm. I know it says light coloured hanging cabinet. Do we have a wooden hanging cabinet? In the American Elm, maybe in Spruce. Let's have a look at this. I just want to see how that, yeah, definitely in Spruce. Okay, and then over here. Okay, we're going to do something with these, I think. These look like fun. Let's just off-center them a little bit. Uh, we should have a picture somewhere in here. I'm going to put this here so you've got something low to rest your coffee cups on, like, um, like a little armrest, only it's not because this isn't a lounge chair. We'll put that there, and then I think we're going to put this one here. And then we're going to put a picture maybe there. No, oh, no, maybe we could just do this. Okay, then above this, so you want to have somewhere you can rest your head, but you want to have a shelf up here. Alright, All right, so this bottom one actually needs to move over, right over. Uh, and this needs to come down just a little bit. And this needs to come down to here. Right. And then what you want in the centre, or just slightly off from the centre. See, so you can sit here and you can have your head against the wall, and then you've got the shelf above it. So you grab your, um, your decorations. And go to pictures. And I just want something, I mean, that's, it's not very dandelion-y. 
I know, we're kind of looking for something that'll match. See, that's just quirky. That's horizontal. We want we want vertical if we can get it. This, this, I don't know about this. It might give us a, I oh know that's, yeah, whoops. That's, it's horizontal, not vertical. So we want a vertical picture. So something like this. And if I could have that in Sapir, I'd be happier. Whoa, wouldn't that look good right there without the shelves? I'm thinking about that. We could get rid of that shelf and just put that picture in. Tempting. I mean, your other option is the giraffe, and that kind of fits with the room's, the whole room's vibe. No, you know what? No, I'm actually really sold on that guitar picture now. Let's zap that out of there. And grab this. And I want to put it just slightly over here. I like it. Don't ask me why. I probably shouldn't like it. And actually, the, my, my heart says it should go a little bit more over the shelf. Yeah, it should, because we're going to put a plant in that corner. And we're just going to lift this up a little bit. All right. Which means I'm probably going to need to move this shelf a little bit. I know, having said it was not far enough in the corner. Uh, we're going to put a plant down the bottom now, so we need to go pick on our plants. I'm going to try not to make it a juker. I know, what happens if we do this? You all yell at me. No, you don't, because you're too nice. Oh, we could go grey. No, that's not grey. What are you thinking? Oh, that's tiny. We don't want a tiny plant. You want a huge, honking great plant. What about that? A holographic bugle lily. Let's give it light green and yellow. And grey. Uh, I can't because it won't sit in the corner nicely. Alright, we're not doing that then. And it's a little bit small. It nearly got away with it. I mean, we could go with this. Again, it has that problem where it doesn't share its space well with the with the rest of the things I want to put in that area. Rude. Uh, I mean, this would echo the kids' room, I guess. Actually, I'm thinking we need a dark grey base on it. Or a black. No, dark grey, there we go. See, I want to put it about there. Alright, what happens if I just kind of whack this up here, out of the way? See, I can fit it. But it is very yellow. What if we make it white? No, I don't think that's going to work very well. Alright, let's go find something else. We have a yucca. Which is not to be confused with a juca. Hang on. <laughs> Alrighty, let's just move these over here for a minute. I know, I'm just going to see if I can smack it in the corner. Um, I can get it there. So if I grab this, so that means I'm going to have to rethink my shelving. Yeah, it does. Alrighty, let's sell all of these shelves. It's it's kind of a reading corner. I'm not sure if that's too big, actually. What other plants have we got? I know, who thought? Oh, I know what we could do. Escape. No, no, tab. There we go. See, it's, it's too fluffy and it's dominating the space and I don't want it to do that. I just want it to complement the space. It's being a pain in the patootie. Let's go back into plants. Um, we could try the Sensevria Laurenti. I think we might have the same problem with it though. Yeah, again, it's, it's, it's too 
too big. Uh, what about the Apuntia? Now that's a little bit quieter. We pivot it so we can have some flowers. You know, I like it. I just want it to move a little bit closer to the guitar. No, okay, let's put it back in its corner. All right, so there is that one, but um, I don't know. Is it the best thing I've got? I mean, we've got the Dracaena marginata. marginata. I know, I'll get there eventually. That would work. Maybe, what do you think? Possibly. Except I think if we're going to do it, we're going to pivot the plant so that it looks like you've got a, um, a descending order if we can. So it, it kind of goes down in a diagonal. No, I don't like it. The cactus so far wins out. Uh, hmm, the Cereus Rapandus, what's that like? Oops, I'm standing on the railing again. I don't know. I just... I know I want something in that corner. I just can't think of what maybe, what maybe works in there. There's just a normal Sirius. I see that just looks like an afterthought. Uh, hmm. I don't think the Rivenia Rivularis is actually going to work. Uh, especially as it doesn't share its space well with the walls. I know. What do you mean it's got to fit inside the walls? That looks too fuzzy, but we'll give it a go. Yeah, no. Not happening. That just That is a feature of itself. It can't share its space with another feature. Crane flower. Bird of paradise is the other one I know that as. That would look great in that corner, but it doesn't share its space well, so okay. Do 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 do. We have this. I don't think this is going to work though. No. All right, what do we got? Zamia. It's the Zamias. Okay, so you've got your Orcus and your Spathophyllum. I know one of the fun parts of this game is finding what fits where. Ah, uh, you know, that just doesn't look right. No, it, it looks like it should be on a shelf all by itself. Like an elf on a shelf. Ah, uh, what about the Spathophyllum? Some light yellow flowers. Okay, it just doesn't share its yeah, does not share its space well at all. All right, let's try something else. The ficus elastica, the big ficus elastica. Yeah, it's big. All right, it's too big. Way too big. Basil is too small. The Juca. I'm trying to avoid the Juca, the Dracaena, and the Sansuria because they all fit so well in so many spaces. See, I mean that's. You know, I don't know if anything is going to work in that spot. Let's um, let's go back to our plants. I know, and I need to put a light up because I can see that the light around me is fading. Living room, shelves, uh, we have some wall shelves, I don't think I'll put those up out here though, I think we'll go back to our beautiful 
Lamuna Lama spruce thingamy what's it and we will put this here and you know one of the other things I was thinking of putting in this area let's just grab it uh, I was actually thinking of sticking a wall TV up here right like this and I don't know if it'll fit but we could we could put it on the wall right So it could be a reading nook and kind of telly corner. And then and then what you'd want is you'd want Okay, so up here you would want a floor rug thing. So you want a floor decoration. There we go. And okay, so you your tread carpet dandelions. Um, I'm actually thinking it might work better as white. So if we buy that, we could pivot it and it would fit like halfway there and then over here you could either have another really narrow one or you could have here it is this one here except I don't know if that looks good as as white let's just see what it looks like as yellow no it looks ugly as yellow is there a gray one so you put this one here so as you come up you've got dandelions more dandelions, even more dandelions. And then you can stick this thing down here. Yeah, that's way too big, isn't it? All right, so you're gonna want a narrow, skinny one. Let's uh, go up here, grab that, pivot it. I know this music, it's just driving me nuts. Yeah, I like that. Maybe, maybe that's what's wrong with this. Uh, we need, we don't need this one, we just need a long skinny one over here. And we can put it right there. Right, then what you do. Yeah, because because then along this wall you can have uh, then along this wall you can have another shelf. So we're not we're not constrained by the bookshelf rule at the moment. I am kind of abiding by it though, to my surprise. Uh, we're gonna just grab a normal bookshelf. The, one of the ones from the original house flipper set. Where is it? This one. Uh, we're going to put it into the American Elm category because I don't think we have spruce. Yep, there we go. Flip it round this way. Actually, you know what? I don't think we will. I think we're going to get we're going to get some more of these couches. Let me just see if I can if it's still up here. No. Okay. So we're going to go furniture, uh, living room and armchairs and it's the wide seat ammo with patterns and it was the dandelions dandelions and it was the brazil nut with the spruce and we had golden things right so we're going to buy this and we're going to just sit this here yeah and then what we're going to actually you know we we're not we're going to move it into the middle yeah, and then we're going to get two dulcer tables, uh, which are here and right down the bottom. Actually, we could we could go with let's go with the Inspire instead because it comes with this nice little wooden thing. American Elm again. Grab this, pop it down there. One over here. I don't know. That looks a little spindly now that I think about it. Actually, let's not sell it. Let's um, let's grab the dulcet wood table like we originally thought. All right, small table dulcet in the American arm. There we go. We'll just go over here. We'll put this one down here. Yeah. Okay. I did. The dulcet was definitely the choice we should have made. Let's grab that. Get rid of it. And we'll grab this one in the cedar again. Right, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to see if we can, well, we're going to turn that round the right way for a start. Here we go. I know what's wrong with us today. Don't, don't ask. Okay, now we're good. Right, now, so so we have a few light zones we want to, we want to deal with now. In the kids' bedroom, we use the round, the round lights on the ceiling. So we used, um... We use the circulos 
Oh, I'm not sure they're a bad choice for in here either. We use gold. I don't know, maybe we just had a gold day. So what we want to do is we want to center this about here. And then I think... Oh no, that, that whole space there is, here is just calling for a, a long one. But we want another one over here. Right, and then we want something in the middle. And I don't think it needs to be circular. I think it needs to be... What is that? I don't think that works. All right. I was just thinking something oblong like the ceiling lamp line, but you know, to be honest, Actually, to be honest, that might work. All right, let's start. Uh, let's light switch this and see how everything goes. Oh, you know, I kind of like that corner. It does need something else in it, like in that little spot there. I just don't know what it is. Yeah, so what we've done is we've created three light zones. Uh, I think, too, we're just going to grab this and, and move it. I'm going to move it over a little bit. Right. Uh, we need some artwork or maybe just one, either one or two large pieces, one large piece or two or three smaller pieces of artwork on there. Let's just check that out. And it's got to have that yellowy cast to it. I really like the ship and the train. I often use those, though. This is just calling to me. Let's have a look at this. Uh, without falling into the whoa what are you doing so we could make that bigger I love this adjustment of size now I mean that works or we could make it really big but I think this will be too big then again no I let's have a look at this yeah okay that is too big um, I just had to walk away and get a closer look at it. We're going to go medium with this. Let's have a look at this. I'm going to pop it about here. Right. Yeah. And then it, it, it just seems to ask for more pictures on either side. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab some smaller pictures. If we can find them. I'm pretty sure there's some down here. I'm kind of more after the verticals again. So something a little bit like maybe that in medium and about here. And then I know my brain just said I needed a horizontal, but I'm going to try another vertical and ignore it just for a minute in medium. I like now that these are a little bit bigger too. So we could put that up there. That's how that would look. And then what my head was saying is it wanted to see, actually it wants to see that for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, it may want to see it in the small. I don't understand. Okay, now it wants something else. I hate my head. No. Alright, and now it wants the tree. Now? Really? No. Okay, I think those are wrong and my head is out of its tiny little mind. Let's just put this over here like we had it. 
And then we're going to grab the, um, this, this one. I can't remember. Why is that so much smaller than the other one? All right, there we go. And then over here, we're going to do the reverse. Well, you knew that was coming, right? Maybe. We might not do the reverse. We may actually have a cluster of three. Or two, that could work. Then I need I see, that's too close. All right, that's one more. I don't know what I want to put on that wall. I know, we're, we're attracting the attention of the art lady. All right, so we have our tables. Let's put a couple of lamps down here. We have those kinds of things there. I'm actually thinking, uh, I don't know what I'm thinking. Who knows what I'm thinking anyway? Let's have a look at standing lamps and see if something appeals. Oh boy. See, I'm actually thinking these. See, I did know what I was thinking. I just want to own up to it. I'm going to put that. And I'm going to grab this one. It's kind of like a sewing machine gone wrong. There we go. It's just amazing how a hallway can take as much time as a um as a bedroom. All right, I think I don't know what I want to put in this space. Okay, let's put the um. The dandelion blinds up because I'm pretty sure there are dandelion blinds. Pretty sure. I could be wrong. Patterns. Here we go. All right. It's not going to make it easy for me, is it? There we go. Dandelions. I know, it's just different spaces inside this house. Uh, and I think what we might do is we might have we might have shelves up here. But we might make them those freestanding shelves. Now that I've played with them a little bit, I, I like them. They're quite fun. Let's go with... I mean, I'm also tempted to do this. Those are all dark, though. We'd have to go... Oh, it's a floor cabinet? No, no. We want a wall cabinet. What are you doing? So it would have to be something like this. You know, I actually like this for some strange reason. I mean, we got to put it up a little bit higher because we're going to have people sitting here, so they're going to want a space for their heads. But we might. 
get a second one. Yeah, we'll put the second one over there. Hang on a minute. I think we maybe need, yeah, we need a picture or something or, or maybe not. Maybe we just need something that stands tall here. All right, let's put some books on that bookcase. See how we go. I know. What did you do, Jehu? You made me think. And I'm enjoying it. Let's try this. It made me remember, actually. Remember. Can I fit these? No, that's right. These these ones require this skinnier array of books. So you can... If you just grab this, right? It should fit because it's, it's now... Let me just put a second lot in here. Do we really want to balance it like that? We can just put them over here. Hang on. Actually, we'll put another lot in here. And you know what? Um, I think we need we need a plant, like one of those holographic things. So we'll grab that. I know, I want all the shinies in here. Uh, I don't know if yellow is a good one for this one. Let's try. No, see, it's not enough contrast. Maybe white? And then, of course, you want something over here. So we're going to grab um, a slightly taller one of these. So um, I'm thinking the, the Fukinagashi may be in the yellow, but possibly in the white. And we'll just put it up here. Maybe turn it. Well, I actually prefer it that way. But then it doesn't do what I want it to. So maybe not the Fukunagashi. What about the Chokan? Let's try the Chokan. Alright, because that kind of sways the other way when you do it like that. Now I need to put something here. I'm not sure what. Possibly, possibly one of these. But I'd like it to be taller. Oh no, wait a minute. And then what we do is we put uh, these. Uh, uh, my eye wants something else to be up here. I don't know what though. I think I might put another shelf in. Oh no, I can't remember what colours I used. Other way. We're going to, you know what, why am I bouncing around like a lunatic? I could just grab a step ladder. There, yeah, our life is so much easier.
All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. Or oh, fiddlesticks. Because I want to move it this way. Why is it not letting me grab it? All right, I'm going to have to sell it because it won't do what I want it to. <laughs> right, let's try this one. Okay, we're going to have to do the same with that. Okay, for some reason, my ability to grab these books just vanished. We'll um, we'll live with it. It's fine. Let's buy many on these. I'm going to put them up that end. We're actually reversing. And maybe in the middle. Yeah, in the middle. And then we're putting another lot right here. Oh, we might use the purple one on the end for that one. All right. Yeah. I know, if for some reason it just didn't look right the other way. Uh, we're going to need another bonsai plant in there. So I might use the... It's one of my favourite little plants, actually, this one. The shakan style. It just, for some reason, just seems to fit everything. All right. Okay, that end is now complete, uh, except that something has to go on that window shelf right there. Uh, no, let's not sell that. Let's just grab it. Okay, now my ability to grab anything has just... Right, all right. Well, I'll, I, it probably will fix once I go out of the game and come back in. It's all good. Let's, uh, let's just get a plant to go in here. And I mean a real plant, so we're probably looking, actually, we're looking at my usual window. No, we're not. Uh, maybe a St. Paulia. Okay. The, um, the plant was jarring against the, yeah, there we go. That goes up there. Okay, so we've now finished that end of the hallway. I oh, know we haven't finished the other end though. All right, that is half of our hallway done. But I think on that note, I'm going to leave you. And um, next next episode, we're going to finish this end of the hallway and head into the parents' bedroom, which is another different color zone entirely okay so if you've enjoyed this episode hit like if you want to see more hit subscribe and i'll check you later take care out there